the Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. Hey there, happy Sunday and welcome to the best of the Upside. We are on Douglas Street and we're at Notaries on Douglas, a great local business and what a cool building that they've refurbished. Yeah, there, this is a ton of history in here. This is a, was an old bank for a number of years, but uh, it's very cool. We'll take you inside there on the show uh, today, but uh, we really want to talk about our show Friday. Yep, the healthcare workers. Uh, a salute to the healthcare workers yeah. who, you know, we started with the pots and pans, you know, 18 months ago, but things sort of, you know, shifted. And I don't know if we've given them the respect and admiration, perhaps, that they deserve. And, and we tried to show that on Friday. Yeah, I agree. And it was, in, I'm so glad we we're able to do that. We talked about it for a long time to, to get out there and appreciate our healthcare workers, which we do. We're we very lucky to do, have yeah. you. And we know how difficult uh, it's been through COVID and, and any time for that matter. That's difficult work you're doing. And we appreciate you. And we're lucky to have you. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. A couple of good fun fundraisers this week. We're at Peninsula Co-op for Fuel Good Days, uh, McDonald's for Make Happy Days, but we can barely hold our mics up because of what happened on Monday. Yeah, this was uh, day one of the uh, Dad Bod competition. We're uh, lined up with Sandwich Recreation here for the Dad Bods. Uh, this is a, cha a challenge here between Jeff and I and Joe Perkins to see if we, in over three months, can turn these pathetic dad blobs into something that will resemble a, a bit better looking bod. That's right. We'll uh, exhale and you can yeah. have a look. Everything hurts already. Look at you two. You guys look strong. You look lean uh, and strong. Have you guys been, have you been working <laughs> out? Well, I have, yeah. Jeff? It's day one today. <laughs> uh, I've done one slight workout. Tomorrow's my first official workout. How about yourself? <laughs> Uh, I haven't responded. Yourself? I haven't we responded to the. You. I haven't responded to the email that my trainer sent me, but I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> oh. okay. We're going to make a plan. On, We're going to make a plan. Yeah, I've been working out even in the when we're not on. Uh, I'm usually doing this. <laughs> you need a spotter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need a spotter. You're right. He does Look at that. Look. That's making a that's making a difference. Gee, that's oh, uh, yeah. That's tiny. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about the dad bod competition between Joe, Ed, and myself and over the next three months, uh, along with the fine folks at uh, Sanich Rec. We're going to be working out and trying to better ourselves yeah. and, and decrease ourselves in certain areas. Yeah, right now it's kind of the dad blobs almost, it is. and then we're going to progress to the dad bods and right. then hopefully to something somewhat chiseled gods the chis by the end. to the chiseled gods okay let's go blob bod god, god. okay that's that's the plan that's the plan well, joe is working out at perks yeah you're working out at gordon head i'm working out here at uh Saanich with uh sean kennedy the best in the game yeah and i'm also working out at commonwealth uh, here at right yeah. tonight <laughs> yes you are yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't fall in What am I, a majorette? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got the pass, and the passes are on sale right now. Right now, the access pass is only $40, 30 for a senior. It's a great deal that gives you the use of all the facilities, the uh, fitness classes, the, the pool, the weight room, the whole shooting match. She'll get to the gym tomorrow, man. <laughs> I'll get to the gym this week. Don't you worry. And when I go, it'll be... <laughs> It'll be a good workout. It'll make up for all the, the ones I missed, okay? When it happens. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, buddy. Yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. I, I will take it seriously. We'll see you in a bit. Beauty. It's a 1923 uh, Ford T-Bucket. Got a Chevy 350 engine in it. And uh, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun to drive. And you're driving it all the way back to Sydney tonight here from Whale Road. Uh, so yeah. you got a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to mix the old gas with the new gas. So. Oh, you don't want to do that? No, no, got it. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'll mix anything with anything, you know me. But, well, listen, Ken, thanks for coming by today. This is a beauty, and we should uh, point out this one feature. This will be tonight's tonight's upside uh, uh, sensor horn will be yeah, this. Exactly. So what in the... Why don't you... <laughs> yeah. You take that back, you... And that's going to end with some handstands here, you know? No, I'm too busy working out here. I'm, I'm not letting the dad bod competition uh, oh, you, you, sleep you're for... not I, even taking I, it. I, I can't afford to lose this because I can't do that all. jump off that... Oh, by the way, speaking of that, yeah. dear, I bought you something. Here's a here. Here's a tricky for you. Huh? Here no, you it's okay. Oh, come I'm on, man. Those. <laughs> no, you're not, come on. It's, it's a gift, man. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm not touching <laughs> these. Enjoy you it. know I'm not... <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, that's all. Good job, Ed. You keep working that. Uh, feel the burn. Yeah. Feel the burn. Thanks. You get the. Uh, you should probably get this get right here. A bit there. 
We can see you just fine. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's good. Actually, enough. maybe you should cloud it up Actually, a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You're a little sore right now. I am more than a little sore. Yeah. I worked out uh, yesterday. Of course, the dad bod competition right. is on. We're all trying to you and I and Joe. do our best yep. and win this competition and not have to jump off the 10-meter board at Commonwealth, right. which I understand is the, the well, I found that out yesterday. That's yeah. the loser. I forgot to tell I, you that. Yeah, well, thanks. I, I so now I'm working extra hard. So you worked this. out the, yeah. the last two days. Today I you was uh, I was at Sandwich Commonwealth Place. I did a I did a workout. Then I went for a 7K run. And mm -hmm. Joe, how are you doing Joe, did with you the dad do a bod contest or, uh, so far? I sent an email to my trainer to uh, discuss the workouts that I will be doing in the future. So, uh, the oh, ball's okay. rolling. Yeah. That counts. Yeah. The ball, the, the ball is rolling. Get, Exercise hey, ball is rolling. <laughs> yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted to get, yeah, I'm not the ball. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys the head, well, the head start. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Joe. He's accusing me of trying to sabotage him in this, in this contest because I bought him a nice gift today, and he turned it down. <laughs> so we're sending that back with Steve, our cameraman. That'll be on your desk tomorrow morning. Ah. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching Enjoy it. Enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I am old, but I'm just strong enough to get this door of the oh. vault open here. <laughs> Man, this is... Uh, this is quite the vault 1910 for this thing. You know, in the building here at Notaries on Douglas, this used to be a bank years ago, uh, the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Come on in and, and have a look inside the vault and uh, see what they've done here. Well, this is some handiwork here by Archer, the great artist that's done all kinds of work around town, uh, and he's <laughs> done a great job here of the, of the break-in. And there's that dirty criminal right there leaving with all those bags of money. You... You were in the vault earlier. I was in the vault. And, and I actually, mentioned... the, the bank manager used to live in the upper portion. And um, there's a, a, a door, little door in the little floor that you that. can open that you could put a gun through. Yeah. In case anyone was trying to break into so, the yeah, bank. So, yeah, so if he's up there asleep and hears somebody rattling around close to the, uh, to right. the, uh, the vault down, so he just lifts up the, the grate, yeah. takes his gun, yeah. and then uh, takes a shot. There's the big, heavy, heavy vault door. And the owner used to, um, of course, be concerned about theft, as every bank owner would be back in the day. And so he lived just upstairs. And there is his, uh, there is his security. Okay, there's the security hole right there where he could keep it. Knock it off, Jay. Okay, we got the up, died, up dog manning the security hole with the Nerf gun today. Are you out of ammo? All right, I'm glad. Oh, I took one in the head, if that makes you feel any better. So thanks for that. So there it is. There's the, uh, the security that uh, you had back in 1910 with the, uh, the hole for the gun. In case you heard any rustling by any ne'er-do-wells down here tinkering with the lock and trying to get in that vault, Joe. So that's, uh, that's kind of Old West security is what that is. I asked you if you, uh, if you were going to leave the upside something in your will, right. what would you leave us? Uh, right. So Don says he would, uh, yeah, a lot of these are, are uh, you know, a bit of a shot. And, and what? They, and, yeah, and they should be. Don says, I'd leave you a book of good jokes and a case of fine wine. Yeah, and I, I, someone said they were going to leave us a couple of hair pieces. Yeah, we got that. Uh, I also had that they're going to leave us two comfy recliners so that we can sit back and watch our replacements. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Uh, Cheryl's going to leave us. Uh, she says, my nose hair trimmer. That's A yeah. nose hair <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you, you can say what you want about a nose hair trimmer. That's probably a thing you don't want secondhand. You want that new thing, don't you? Is that a new item? <laughs> that, yeah, maybe, and maybe it's still in the box. I shouldn't say, I shouldn't assume it's used. I would leave Ed and Jeff my dust bunnies. There you go. There, there you go. Donna, not, you're in the running. Not the most valuable uh, offer we've had, but uh, thanks for the same. What would you leave us, Joe? What, what are you going to leave us? What do yeah, you leave the boys? Uh, whatever I assume you, we're in your will. Uh, yeah, whatever you want, guys. I, I have nothing you want. You too. You've got it all. You've got K cups. Come on. How about your di your dimples? Yeah. How about your dimples, one, Joe? Those cute one dimples. One for each of you. you. Little you. Uh, we're gonna try the uh, spicy, the spicy nuggets chicken here. Chicken McNuggets. There I'm you gonna go. dive into Are you that going extra right hot? now, Stace. Okay. Hi. I worked out earlier today, so I deserve this. That's there you extra. go. Is this that's the extra uh, hot. That's neutral in the dad bod yep. competition here, right? So you're doing uh, Isn't doing that it the right? right way. There you go. <laughs> well, that milk, sounds milk, great. Milk, 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 milk. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, continue to stream through the drives through here at the Parkway, the Langford Parkway uh, location. Is that your phone? It's not right my it? phone. It's my not, phone is. It's not mine. It's not my phone. It's it's not, not. Oh, hang on. It's, it is my phone. <laughs> it's my other line here again. Sorry about this. I gotta. I need to. Uh, yeah. 
I gotta take this. This is probably something important. Yeah, hi, it's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I agree with you there, but uh, nope, no, nope, sorry. He's uh, he's married. Yeah, I just got married. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as hot as the uh, as hot as those chicken McNuggets. Okay, I'll pass that on. All right, thanks. So long. <laughs> another right. uh, another call for. Uh, hey, love you, Joe. I tell you, yeah, Joe? every night I take one of these calls. I go, look, he's married. All right. In uh, celebration of uh, Joe, the the dad bod uh, contest that we have going on. Right. I know Joe was at uh, Perks today for his first workout. And, and I think there he looked something like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, there we go. Two. And out back to the car. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> off for some McNuggets. Who will jump off the 10-meter diving board in 90 days? Who will lose the dad bod contest? Uh, Ed, who's afraid of heights. Uh, yeah. uh, myself or Joe Perkins. Uh, you will have the final vote coming up just before Christmas. I don't like my chances, but I, don't I either. cannot lose this. <laughs> So I'm going to be trying my absolute hardest to avoid that jump off, that uh, diving board. All right, coming up next, we have some great stories, as always, from Cole Sorensen next. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. And welcome back to the Best of the Upside. We've got great stories every week from Cole Sorensen, who is a great storyteller, and he has great hair, that young guy. He's got, he? he's got yeah. great flow, and he's a good storyteller for sure. Several good ones this week. We're going to start with a former junior hockey player who is chasing after a world record. The new space, Mitchell Cook has never backed down from an athletic challenge. I've always had that kind of um, you know, competitive edge and, and drive about me. The former Oceanside Generals player was looking for a new way to stay fit after his time in hockey and found it with burpee circuits. I've always had very good cardio, so burpees is something that, you know, most people hate them. But but I'm, uh, I would say I have a, a, light, a love, a love hate kind of relationship with them. I, I, I enjoy kind of the aspect of how it's a full body movement. It's not just, you know, one stationary movement. And there's so many different components going into it. Now Cook has his eyes set on the ultimate prize, the Guinness World Record for most burpees in one hour. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, me looking, was, I was kind of looking for something to, you know, really, you know, push my limits and see, you know, see where I can take things. When I first um, sent him my application quite a few months ago now, uh, the record at that time was 879. Uh, but then since I sent him my application, the record has been broken by Cassiano Lorento. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, world champion, and the current record is 951. And he's doing it for a cause, raising money for the National Police Federation Benevolent Foundation, which helps families of fallen officers. The reason I chose the National Police Federation Benevolent Fund um, was because my brother is in the RCMP. He's been in the RCMP since um, December now. To me, it's just, you know, it's a way I can help out if you know, help out the fallen members, families when uh, when something tragic happens on duty. Obviously, what uh, Mr. Cook is doing um, is fantastic. It's uh, both in terms of just just personally what he's trying to achieve a thousand burpees in an hour and and bringing awareness to to our cause. Cook goes for the world record November 5th. The dad bod competition will go on for the next three months. Me, Joe, Ed going head to head. Have a look at our first consultation. The Upside Dad Bod Challenge kicked off at the Gordon Head Rec Center with resident Upside strongman Ed Bain taking to the machines. Oops. <laughs> okay. That seemed to go an awful way, an awful lot lower. You don't want to go down that. <laughs> Is there a mechanic in the house? <laughs> I'm feeling the burn. All right, so we've got a plan uh, to begin with, so let's just recap that. So we're doing what then? Yeah, so you're going to be starting off your workout with some cardio on the elliptical machine, and then you're going to be doing some upper body, some dips, and some pull-ups. And through it all, I'm going to try not to throw up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Next, we move to Joe Perkins' neighborhood in the Perks Rec Center, where the beer league hockey star teamed up with his trainer. Well, I can take it. I got thick skin. When you, when you initially saw me come out of the change room in my gear, 
your first thought was, I got a great opportunity here. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> This is motivation, because the more of this I do, the more of this I do. You might have to go back for this, Cole. I don't know if you can get them all in the lens. <laughs> and finally, it was Jeff King's turn to test his balance, strength, and stamina at the Saanich Commonwealth Pool. Chicken wings, beer, and pizza, do they remain as part of my staples in my diet? Let's just say you'll fall off that Tamir board real quick if you continue with that. So who will come out on top? The senior with swagger, Victoria's mom heartthrob, or the up dog himself? Well, you'll have to wait three months to find out. Victoria guy defying the odds right now. Well, that story, here's Cole Sorensen. We first introduced you to Nigel Deacon last year when the ocular melanoma survivor ran a marathon for the annual Move for Melanoma fundraiser. I couldn't believe people's uh, generosity. So many people gave. Deacon's run also introduced him to other ocular melanoma patients on Vancouver Island like Allison Schwartz. I was able to message Nigel and we got in contact through the phone and met for coffee and he was a tremendous amount of support and knowledge for me as I was going into this. The disease is so rare, finding another patient on the island is like finding a needle in the haystack. This year, Deacon will once again run the length of a marathon, this time raising money for a new experimental ocular melanoma treatment. A new drug uh, invented by a company called Immunocore has been successful in clinical trials, but uh, we have to help people travel to the only two centres that provide it at the moment, Edmonton and Toronto. And last week, unfortunately, because of the COVID crisis, Alberta closed to out-of-province patients, so uh, people are going to have to go to Toronto for now. It's a breakthrough that's giving ocular melanoma patients and survivors hope. 50% of patients diagnosed with this cancer uh, will see metastasis at some point. And to know that it's, uh, there's some other treatments available out there, if you are diagnosed with uh, metastasis, then um, yeah, hope, a little more hope is always a good thing. There's never been any treatment that worked for metastatic ocular melanoma. And so it's incredible that they have access to a medication that may well prolong their lives. To donate to Nigel's fundraiser, head to saveyourskin.com slash move for melanoma. Keep those story ideas coming our way. Those happy pants stories, those wonderfully smiley, feel good, all warm. those things. Yeah, all yeah. those things that make up a good story. That's right. Keep Send them coming. our way. The upside of checknews.ca. All right, funny stories every night on the Smile of the Day. Got some great ones coming up next. Stick around. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. Hey there, friends. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us. Hope you had a few smiles this weekend. Well, and I hope you uh, have a few smiles in this next segment here because we always do night after night on the smile of the day. We're going to start with this little guy that's doing his best to get that hockey bag down the, uh, down the alley, if you will. Uh, take a look at this. It's a little guy playing hockey, and what I like, Jeff and Ed, is that he doesn't have the bag with the wheels. He's carrying it on his own, and he's just... He's making it work. Yeah. And I like that. Well, he probably has one of those hard nosed dads that won't allow their son to have a wheeled hockey bag. Know anybody like that, Jeff? Uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> I happen to be going through that right now. My son Cooper is playing his first year of hockey, and he asked for the bag with the wheels. <laughs> and you said, absolutely not. Well, I mean, what, you know, growing up in the prairies, nobody had the wheels on their no, bags. There was no wheels. So I had to disappoint Cooper, and I bought the, uh, the blue Sherwood bag with no wheels. With no wheels. I should say this, and, okay. and, and 
you know, qualify that I'm going to take you back about 30 years. You know where the kid's stumbling into the wall, uh, heading into the yeah. rink? I saw a few of my teammates stumbling like that coming out of the rink <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. way back in the day. Yeah. Sure I've seen a uh, few of my workmates do that at the odd Christmas party. I don't want to mention any names here, but... <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, you're okay, fine, ma'am. You're fine. You're fine. fine. You're fine. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honest mistake for sure. I mean, I'm surprised, actually, you know, she wasn't more startled than that. When no, she seemed to realize what had happened sort of right away. Excuse me, ma'am. But, uh, you know, that's not going to happen to you, Joey. That's the beauty of driving that Maserati of yours, the chances of there being another one. Okay, yeah. okay Mr. Yeah. Convertible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have woken up in the wrong bed, though, in the past. Yes, Did you, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you know what? I won't say. Here's, a true, here's a true story. I have a friend many, many years ago. He actually slept in the wrong yeah. house. And the guy whose house it was knew it was a simple mistake. He woke up on the couch, and the guy was making breakfast. And, and the guy, my friend went, where am I? I said, it's okay. You've slept in the wrong house. Are you hungry? I'm just yeah. cooking breakfast. It was could have been much worse. <laughs> well, say uh, say hello to your friend when you look in the mirror tonight for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That is not true. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Okay, I wish I didn't tell that story now. Well, that's it. The end of the best of the upside. Another fun week. Some great songs lined up next week, including next Friday, the finale of the Tour de Rock. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. We're going to get back on the bikes for the first time uh, as a kind of a team, an alumni yeah, team. Looking forward to if that everything for sure. will still fit, the, uh, that spandex is unforgiving. <laughs> so sure wish is. us luck on that one. We'll upside, see you next week. tomorrow night. We'll see you at 5. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230.